husband tried to take the dog for a walk today. He sent me uh -oh. a picture of the right. boots had sunk oh. just into I the know. mud. I it's just it. so much water and we're really running out of places to put it. And we only have about two days to kind of let things dry out a little bit before we have another oh, round wow. of rain coming in. But it looks like next week it will be a little bit calmer, at least compared to this one. So mm -hmm. some good news we'll in the forecast. It's a, it's a little eventually, out there yeah. <laughs> eventually, yeah. Right now it's, it's just mud. Though at this point, most of us have dried out. It's still a little bit dreary and drizzly out there. Drizzle droplets are too small to be picked up on our radars. But here's a, kind of the last of those showers moving through Washington County. And I would say about one more hour and all of the precipitation will have moved out of our area. And that's going to allow high pressure to move in for Friday and Saturday. So it'll be brief, but it'll be there. So as we get later in tonight, we're going to start to lose some of that cloud cover and really sets us up for a beautiful Friday. Definitely the best day of the week. I'll stop the bars a little low for this week, but you know, still a real, really nice day. Temperatures getting into the upper 30s by about 10 a.m. Plenty of sunshine out there really throughout all day. Then Saturday is still going to be dry, but it's going to be a little bit cloudier because high pressure is going to start moving out of our area and we have another system on the approach that's going to bring Bring us some more precipitation Saturday night into early Sunday morning. So I would say snow showers moving into New Hampshire and Western Maine there about Saturday 11 p.m. And then we're going to see that precipitation begin to overspread the state overnight into early Sunday morning. We can see that here. This is our European model. I would say about the rain snow line kind of right around Lewiston and Augusta areas. This is about 6 a.m. So right before sunrise is the coldest portion of the day. So that's the farthest south that rain snow line is going to be. Then we're going to have rain along the coastline. And I would say the heaviest precipitation is going to be in western Maine, kind of on the onset of this system. So I would say about midday, heaviest precip moves into the mid coast area. That rain snow line is going to continue to move northward as our temperatures rise. So I would say right about the Bangor region as we get to midday. And then about dinner time is when the heaviest precip will move into the down east area. We'll start to see some clearing over here in western Maine. And once again, that rain snow line continues to move northward to about Greenville and Millinocket by dinner time. And then on the back end of this system, we're going to see some kind of wraparound rain and snow showers. So this model kind of makes it look like it's going to be uh, precipitating everywhere. But throughout the day Monday, it's definitely going to be more scattered showers and some snow squalls are possible in the mountains. So this is going to be the strongest system of the three that we've been talking about. It's going to be a little bit breezy too, especially as we get late into Saturday into Sunday morning. I would say gusts about 35 to 45 miles per hour possible. And it's going to stay windy through the day on Monday, and then things will start to calm down a little bit later in the week once this system starts to move out of our area. So in terms of snowfall, I would say mountains are definitely the best chance of getting snowfall here, about four to eight inches. And then once we get some of those wraparound snow showers, that'll add about an inch or two. And it kind of puts about one inch closer to the coast. I think that's wishful thinking. We're not going to be cold enough along the coast to get any snowfall. I would say maybe a slushy one inch in Lewis and Augusta. And then north of that is where we'll see some accumulating snowfall. And in terms of rain, I would say about another inch and a half to two inches along the coast. That could cause some flooding concerns because like I mentioned before, we have a lot of rain and not a lot of places to put it. Marine forecast sees four to nine feet. We have a gale warning in effect until Friday at 1 p.m. So here's a look at our seven day forecast. So we've got a little bit of a reprieve from the precipitation Friday and Saturday. Another storm moves in for Sunday. Uh, some flooding possible definitely along the coastline because Brian and Amanda, we're going to have some higher tides, the highest tides of the month. So just something to keep in mind for the day on Sunday. On Sunday, yeah. but tomorrow, a lot of people skipping out early to start the weekend. <laughs> oh yeah. Tomorrow looks very good. I know, I'm very excited. I've got some plans for earlier in the day. Enjoying that sunshine is going to be good top of my list. Right. Right. Will do. Dana, thanks.